What's up, YouTube? And hi, boys. It's August 19th, 2023. Hurricane Hillary is bearing down on the West Coast, and the weather in Las Vegas is crazy. So I'm going to try to get this video up as quickly as I can. Two days ago, August 17th, 2023, I did a combination activity. I did a First Amendment audit of both the Las Vegas Police Station as well as the Clark County Elections Department. While I was at the Las Vegas Police Department, I was dropping off a notice to seek judicial review. The Las Vegas Police Department revoked my concealed carry permit because I was under felony indictment in El Dorado County, California for deprivation of custodial rights, if you can believe that. This is after my kids have been abducted twice from Las Vegas without any trial and without any due process. They, so they revoked my CCW. They said I was a prohibited possessor under federal law, and that's why they're doing it. That, of course, is a joke. I was not convicted of any felonies. At the end of this video, I will be showing you my notice to seek judicial review so you can see what their arguments were for revoking my concealed carry permit, as well as my arguments saying that they should give it back. In a separate video, I'll show you how my encounter went with the Clark County Elections Department. That encounter was about me starting the recall petition process for my two state legislators who absolutely refused to communicate with me after I reported to them my false arrest by Nevada Attorney General Aaron Ford. If you have not seen the Ring Doorbell video two weeks prior to my false arrest by Nevada Attorney General agents Dave Monroe and Gina Levero, I encourage you to check it out. It's got almost 180,000 views. I'll put the link in the description. I also have links on this channel and we have a whole playlist too for the Las Vegas Police Department constantly impeding me from reporting the crimes of which I'm a victim. Last thing I want to say on a First Amendment audit basis, this was actually a really good experience. I didn't know what to expect. I've had such high conflict with these government losers. I figured that it was not going to be a good experience, but it turned out to be great. So I want to thank the Las Vegas Police volunteers for who were very professional in this video. And also Shondell, I believe is how you pronounce her name. She is a paralegal for the General Counsel's Office at the Las Vegas Police Department. They were both all super professional. This is the first time I ever wore a camera openly on my chest for everyone to see. Hey ma'am, how are you? I'm here to drop off this notice for General Counsel. I'd like them to come down, stamp it, and make a photocopy for me, please. Michael Sternberg. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. 
Are you Shondell? Yes. Yeah, you look familiar. What's your P number, Shondell? 5496. 5496, thank you. I'm dropping this off. I'd like to get a stamp and a photocopy. A stamp of what? Just the front page, the in intake stamp that has the date and the time on it. We don't have such stamp. I mean, I have a stamp that says uh, Office of General Counsel, and I guess it, it, it could say today's date. Yeah, you did, you've done that for me before, so if you could do that again. All right, I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Shondal. Uh, this is related to my CCW. I don't have a time stamp. It only dates it. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much. I just wanted to let you know uh, that's my YouTube channel. On that channel is evidence of your officers and employees refusing to investigate the kidnapping of my kids and also denying me the right to make a report. Okay. okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate your professionalism. Thank you. Thank you.